Hello, hello, welcome. <laughs> it's Ruth here at artfulstamping.co.uk. So uh, it's Monday, gonna try and do something a bit more masculine. Sorry about the glitchiness. I know that my son is streaming right now, so it could have something to do with it, but it looks like the stream is healthy, but, and hopefully when I get to the desk, it should be fine. All right, hi, Heather. Hi, Kim, Vicky, Vicky, um, sorry, Kim, just experienced a eclipse, excellent. Um, yeah, so happy Eclipse Day <laughs> for those of you who experienced it. Uh, hi, Shaz. Hi, Sandra. Uh, who else is here? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Anne, Janine. Kim, Judy, Glenna, Georgiana. Carol, hello, hello. All right, so... Um, I have been requested, um, I think Kim asked for more more things with Hills of Tuscany. So I'm going to try and use that today to do some sort of scenic type stamping. And um, yeah, just kind of see what happens really. We'll, we'll go from there. See if this is any better. Well, that doesn't seem to be as glitchy. Okay, that's all good. Um, I also wanted to perhaps use some of the new in colours and see how they look. Um, and I did look up, oops, sorry, dropping crumbs. I did did have a nice bit of freshly um, freshly baked bread earlier. So that might be a crumb coming off my jumper. I don't know why I've got a crease there. Might, have got, might need to get a new one out. I can't have a crease on my card. Let me go swap it out for that one. Oh, and then... Um, over I decided to have a bit of crafty for craft time for me and I'll show you what I made and uh, see if any of you wants to do a class on it all right so I looked up some pictures on the internet of Welsh sunsets and um, very nice so I thought it'd be fun to try and emulate something and we do have a really lovely sunsetty colour in this one. This is in one of the new in colours. So I thought it would be nice to have a go using it. <coughs> oh, hi Shaz Casey. Did I see Shaz Casey coming out or is it Shaz Connaby on here? <coughs> oh, Shaz Casey. Hey, lovely. Sorry, I just need to grab a drink. Yeah, we've got one more hour and the last chance order list comes out for customers and also reductions. going to stamp. Let's see what happens. Hi Janine. Who have I not said hello to? Judy, hi. <coughs> right, so I've got ocean front and I've got hills of Tuscany. Um, it's always a little bit daunting looking at a blank piece of paper. All the endless poss the possibilities. Oh, and then I'm looking at these stamps thinking, did I clean them properly last time I used these? Now, all the stamps I'm using are actually going to be retiring. I'm just looking at the shape of this. Ooh, okay. That helps me somewhat. Now I have packed some of my blocks because I have a class tomorrow. So I might be using ones that I wouldn't normally use. Hi Janice. 
yeah all the in colors yeah I, I try to tell you guys if you want if you want in colors you need to go get them That was a bit of dash. What is the old petal petal pink there? <coughs> Hmm, no. I'm, I'm trying to sort of have the sort of sun sort of setting here. That, that's, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Um, we'll see if it works or not. <clears throat> I'll just keep building and adding and see what happens. Get some lemon lolly in here. Trying to cover up some of the white spaces. Okay. Peach pie. Hi, Patricia. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep going. Hi, Monica. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right really but I'm just making art I'm happy stamping seeing what the shapes do <clears throat>
more, Patricia. Are you feeling any better? It was nice to see you. I'm glad you did make it. <coughs> oh, yes, I do have spaces for the mini photo album class. I will show it at the end because it might be that people aren't quite sure what that class is about. So um, I'm happy just to go over that again with everybody. Oh, good, Patricia. So Saturday, I'm trying to think what I've done this weekend. Sorry, I've, I've just jumped on here and I've just, I've just realised I'm not being very chatty at all. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what happened to the weekend. Um, so we went to kind of a surprise birthday event for somebody. Um, he didn't know quite exactly what was going to happen. He just knew that there was something going to happen. So, uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one. So, we cooked some food. Although there was rather a lot of food there, which was great, actually, because then we had lunch at church on Sunday. And I didn't have to cook so much. This is not this is looking like a bit like a fantasy sunset now, isn't it? But that's okay. I can cope with that. Yeah, so last night, I just had this kind of urge to start making a little mini album. Oh, I'll tell you what, what prompted it. It was because I was on Pinterest. Um, just looking for some inspiration. And, oh, no, no, oh, right, sorry. The other thing that happened was there's a book that I've got that I haven't actually read much of. Sorry, I'm not pushing hard. That's why the, those are appearing. Um it's it's a book about art basically and dynamics and visual dynamics and stuff like that and i really couldn't there was a bit of it that i really couldn't understand it was to do with um what i mean it'll be interesting to know if anyone on here does know the difference between what what a is it a static rectangle or an, what a dynamic rectangle is it's to do with ratios of um the, the side the, the measurements of the sides of rectangles anyway i know i'm going all mathsy on you but anyway i i actually find it a little bit fascinating and so i was trying to figure out what the symbols on the side of this rectangle that's depicted in this uh, book meant and I've, i had to ask my son to help me because <laughs> i was just not getting it but anyway when i did get it i was like oh whoa, that's interesting <laughs> Uh, so I will hopefully at some point do a video to do with composition and rectangles and uh, yeah it's it's really good stuff once you get into it if, if you're interested in that kind of thing um right I don't know what I'm doing I know. We well we didn't we had like apparently a ten percent of an eclipse here in the UK, especially sort of where I am. It it just looked grey to me. Didn't really look very eclipsy at all. Right, um I want some striations along here. See that would be quite fun. But okay. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it just yet. 
but we'll keep going. Oh, I know. There's a stamp set. This is the one. This has got little marks in it. Might look like ripples. <clears throat> Yeah, so one thing I started doing, I started just getting a book, I, I just got a sketchbook out or notebook out rather. I've got rather a lot of notebooks because every time I go to a Stampin' Up! event, they give me a notebook. And um, and yeah, so I was thinking about, well, I just wanted to read more anyway and just to kind of have a think about how I would explain how I stamp for this book that I'm writing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I started sketching um, just like a rectangle and then put a square in the same place on each rectangle and was thinking about how to make it the focal point. And yeah, it was interesting. Right, that's lemon lolly. I think I'm going to put a bit of daffodil to light. Oh, it would help if I didn't drop the stamp. Here we go. Hi, Deb. Hi, Kaz. Ooh, all the best for your interview. Hi, Cindy. Right, I wanted to put some rocks onto this now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just adding stuff. It's a lovely boulder. Oh, thank you, Judy. I'm not. I'm not quite feeling it yet. Oops. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. I just burped. I think it's because I was eating love heart sweets. I've eaten three packets of those little love heart sweets this evening. So, um, oh, right. Could have some little trees on the horizon, I guess.
And now, of course, those, they look like they're floating. Can't have that. Let's get you a bit closer. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah these wash out really easily. You just put them under like running water, and yeah, they wash out super easy. This is kind of the wrong size, really. These. But I just wanted some extra texture happening. Yeah, the Tuscany set is retiring. Yep. Just putting a little bit of this. Dotted in for some extra texture. Love a bit of extra texture. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure, but it's okay. Huh. <sighs> Kim had like a whole playlist for the eclipse. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Uh, here comes the sun, little darling. Okay, so before I went live, I did see an idea for a card that I thought I'd like to do. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I need that this would be the right size for it. Bear with a sec. I just need to watch this video. Very quick little short on the Hmm, okay. I think I might try and do something going that way. Hmm. 
There's my little my little tiny piece of vellum gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I'm I'm just still not sure about it. I'll get there. I think maybe I need to go a bit more abstract and then I'd be a bit happier with it. I think I'm trying to create something too realistic and then I'm not happy with it when it doesn't look realistic. So I'm just like, oh, okay. I know that Kim is a machine. So I, I was chatting to Vicky the other day. And I was like, Vicky, I've tidied my, my room and I can't find all the little pieces that I cut out for the Dinky album class. I said, I know I've done it. And I know I've kept them somewhere really, really safe. Anyway, I did find them. I did put them somewhere really, really, really safe. blades going up as well. Oh, I did not realise that. Okay, let's see how this looks. I quite like that. Just wanted to get some colour down.
Oh, don't, yeah. Just just enjoy watching for now, Shaz. It'll come back. You've been through quite a bit. All right, so that was kind of like the scene, a little scene that I wanted because I want to have a go making this cool card that I've just seen on Pinterest. So, I'm just going to move all these inks out of the way. do some happy little trees of course Blue. So I just want a little section of this now. Um, to make this card. Um. So, I guess I want the sun to be kind of in the middle section. It will all make sense in a minute. Stick with me, everybody. It will all make sense in a minute. So, I'm going to cut that there. Hold on, I've just got to do some maths. Okay. Need four centimetres there. So it's about uh, an inch and a half. Thickness. Is that there and there? Do I want to use this? Hmm. I don't want. Let me cut the base first, and then we'll go from there.
So I'm going to score my cardstock at seven and then ten. So that's two and three quarters. Then I guess four inches or ten centimeters. Then I need to do exactly the same amount there. So take that to 13. And I need that at seven to then cut at 20. So basically that, that middle score line's got to be in the middle of your cardstock. And then so the second the score line to the either side of the middle has to be the exactly the same distance apart. So it can do that. And let me see what colours I've got that I can use. Got a pretty peacock. Let's just go for that. I've got it on hand, so. so if I cut that at eight and a half centimeters, which is about three and a half inches. So it's basically I'm going to cut matting layers for all these three pieces. So that was four. So I'll do this on four and a half. One, two, three, four. I'm wondering whether to use a bit of this. I could use this piece. Um, de hum, de hum, de hum. Okay, so sorry, I've changed my mind. You know, crafter's prerogative. So basically, I should have cut that all off at fourteen and a half. Sorry, not 14 and a half, 14. 14. All right, it will come. Just stick with me, everyone. It will come good. 14, 14. All right, 14. And then I'm going to take four off the top. Then four off the bottom. And oh, I might change my measurements. Half off the bottom. See, ideally, I need to get that down to four. Oh. 
Hold on, I've got to just do my some maths in my head. Ooh, okay. I might be able to get away with that being five. Where's my pretty peacock piece gone? Okay, where do I put that piece? The pretty peacock. The spare bit. Bear with, just got to find that piece. Hmm. Uh, seriously, I just had it, so like it can't have gone that far. Oh well. It's obviously disappeared, so. Eight and a half. This is definitely crafting on the fly. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Hi, Christine. We're nearly there, I promise. That's the top. Sorry, that's the middle. That's the top. Oh, there it is. Right, so I've just got to check that all this together fits onto there. Okay. No, it was just there. It was just there, Deb. So rather than doing a whole lot of stamping, you could use some of that lovely paper that Stampin' Up! has designed. That's got those lovely scenes on it, but it is sometimes fun to stamp your own. Come on, scoot over. Sit. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Janine. Oh, no, I said hello to Janine already. I love how when you cut them into panels, each piece becomes its own individual scene. Yes. Yes. I know. I can get so precious about it not looking right as a whole composition, and then I forget myself that it's all going to get cut up. It doesn't actually matter. Right, let's make sure I've got the right side. So that was that side, yeah. So I'm using that lovely new Summer Splash colour, this one here. It's on my nice clean floor. Yeah, you'd think I'd be able to see things better now I've got a nice clean floor. Okay, so this is the magic bit. Stick. 
that there. And that has got to be really close. Now, the video I saw, she had it shorter. Or he or she, I don't know who it was. It's just it's just a little video of a card. They had it shorter, but I wanted to get in that length of the design. Oh, of course, it's not going to work. Because I had it shorter. Because the idea is that fits across there. Oh, I'm just going to keep it as it is and then I'll do another one. I don't mind that it doesn't work. This is why I really should just follow the instructions. Then it would work. All right, so the idea is that you have the picture appearing. But obviously not the way that I've done it, Ruth. Okay. We'll do it again. All right, so the idea is that, yeah, you have your card like that and then you open it up and then you go, ta-da! Like that. So if I use these pieces correctly, so I think basically it is only meant to stretch that length just have a look at that. Well, no, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so the example I saw, it wasn't a landscape she was, they were doing. Actually, it does look like a lady's hands. Um, it was just like words. So I thought, oh, let's try and do that with a, a landscape. But I guess if, it, if you kind of like see it as being in keeping with the whole abstract look it's kind of cool so all right I'm, I'm not gonna over I'm not gonna overthink it I'm just gonna say it's lovely it's fine as it is should we do it again then with this one I've got it you know what? I'm not going to cut it down. I'm going to stick them in first because. Um, right. So that's the correct size. And a half by eight and a half. Right, what could we put instead of a scene? I'm just thinking, I'm a bit slow today. My brain's a bit slow. 
<gasps> your pre-order is supposed to be here Wednesday. Looking forward to seeing the new ink colors in person. Yes. Good. 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 Um. Oh, that one. That'll do. Or should I have a different contrast? You know, I think I'd like that because I'm thinking that could be used to actually do one of these. I'm going to have another little go in a second. Right, let's just quickly get that finished and then we'll move on. Right, so 14. And six and a half. Right, six and a half. Tea barns, welcome, welcome. <laughs> you don't usually catch live. Oh, well, I'm glad you caught it today. Right, let's get this show on the road. You know, I'm going to do some folding first. That might make quite a fun um, fold to put inside an album. So I've got albums on the brain. I hope you guys don't mind that. Like books and book folds and all that kind of jazz. I'm looking at this side now thinking that looks quite fun too. I don't think that look would look terrible, would it? Let's try it and see. Oh, you like the first one best, oh, sorry. I know, but I really like that paper. I want to use that for something else. It is, yeah, and it was in clearance. I bought a few packs at, at the end of last year and because they were on clearance and I'd not ordered them myself. I think I'd had a customer that had ordered some, but I'd not ordered it, but I did get it in clearance because I did a workshop with them. And then when I actually saw them in up close and personal, I was like, oh, well, these are nice. And so I have bought a pack that's in the new mini catalogue that are similar to this style. Because I thought, now I've seen what they're like. I was like, oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. Right, that goes there. Oh, thank you for all the thumbs ups, everybody. And thank you for all the little, um, not little sometimes, actually. Some of it's very generous. Uh, your YouTube giftings and your PayPal giftings. 
Um, I really do appreciate them. I know I'm not doing the thank you videos anymore. Um, I'm still catching up on last year's. Um, but um, yeah, I, I hope that you feel that your contributions to my channel um, is paid back in content because it's what enables me to purchase new products for me to show you. So, I'm guessing if I make that ridge, that middle, not ridge section a bit bigger then I could have everything align up a bit more and then have that have a wider section but I'm thinking if I could do this by cutting this into three I want to see how that works out just realised that what I should have done is check this before I started sticking them down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, lesson learned. I, I should have really made sure that that was further up. Right, we know for the next time. Okay, so that's that one. So my plan for this then is to cut this into, um, hold on, I don't need, if I take off the bottom. I'll try and do this one in inches for y'all. Um, So if I cut that off at four and a half inches and then cut that at two and two, okay, then Gonna use a little bit of peach pie. Bye, Dad. Okay, so if all my pieces are gonna be an inch and a half by two inches. So that, my matting layer is going to be an inch and three quarters by two and three quarters. So if I do two and three quarters plus two and three quarters <laughs> So 
So if I score two and three quarters, five and a half, That's just too much. Oh, yeah, that is too much. Basically, I need a half of two and three quarters, don't I? Which would be one and three eighths. That's it. Okay. So two and three quarters plus. One and three eighths. One and three eighths. So that takes us to four and four and one eighths. So that's five and a half. Plus two and three quarters. Oh, oh that was lucky. Oh, that was jammy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay. So two. Plus, no, not plus. So one and three quarters. So which one was the middle one? One and a half, one and a half. Okay, so it does mean that the end panels, those aren't going to be long enough, are they? We'll make it work though, I'm sure. I'm coming home in May, hoping to come to Cardiff. Oh, Debs. What? What? When? In May. In May. Ah. I'm afraid. I don't think I'm going to be in Cardiff in May. Um, my my parents are visiting at the beginning of May, and then a certain person from Australia is visiting. And Janice is visiting as well from Scotland. So you're welcome to come and join us in Welsh Paul. 
Welsh Bull's about, I don't know, three hours from Cardiff. Driving all by train. So if I was being super pedantic, I would have done the maths to work out um, basically cutting this up so that I end up with, yeah, the longer sections here, but anyway, I'm not going to over worry about it. Oh, that's not right. Hmm, hold on. That was only two. Okay, so that only had to be one and one eighth. One eighth, not three eighths. Okay, let's do that again. So two and three quarters, three and seven eighths, five and then seven and three quarters. Let's try again. Oh, basically, I have Welshpool train station. Oh, and Shaz. Yes, Shaz is coming. She's going to, I don't know where I'm going to put her, but she will find somewhere for her. Oh no, that's not the right way yet. It's that one, isn't it? That one, that one, then that one. So I'm keeping that flat with the top there. That one there. That's better. But when you stick it, just make sure that you've got to be on the other side of that crease, otherwise, it's not going to fold. So I might want to make again make some adjustments for that. you see they're slightly nudging out oh well it's all a 
a bit of an experiment really oh night night Shaz really lovely to see you hope you can make it to the team meeting where did I get that two and three quarter business from I don't get it that was a massive miscalculation You know what? We're going to embrace the mistakes and use these up. So Debs, where where do you live at the moment? I've got that on the right side. Oh no, that's outside. Talky. Talky. It's kind of like a beach town, isn't it? Talky. Coastal town. You used to love and talk you for 10 years before you came to the US. Ah, wow. Oh, my, hold on, my camera is a bit behind, so just bear with, I'm just going to, um, Still a little bit behind. Debs, did you used to have a different handle before? Different YouTube name?
Right, this is looking better. Ta-da! That's what I wanted. So I might just need to make some little adjustments for the fact that your, your panel has got to sit just on the other side of the fold. So maybe the, this needs to be slightly bigger. But that is kind of what I wanted to achieve. That. That's cool. I like that. I better draw this out, hadn't I? <laughs> All right, well, let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the little short stumpy one like that? Or we've got the dramatic great big one here like that. And then that one. So there we go. One, two and three. Or maybe the answer is to make those slightly thinner. I don't know. That's almost as cool as today's eclipse. <laughs> I like the stumpy best. Oh, thanks, Georgiana. All right. So that was today's bit of creativity. Sorry it took a bit of a... It took me an hour to get there or more. Right. Can I show you what I made last night then? So this idea popped into my head of doing similar to, I guess, the concertina type albums that I've been making over the last few weeks. Um, and also the envelope album that I finished making off last, last weekend. And the idea then, so this is a concertina album. So it opens up like so. You've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I also really like making things that I can visualise cutting it from the 12 by 12 paper so I can, it, it's methodical. So what we've got here then, if I just open that up, is on the first page we've got an opening like that. And look, look at this little secret hideaway opening. I love it. And then there's another one there. And then here we've got a sideways opening one. And then another top opening one. Then I'm just going to move these stamps because some of them have got ink on them. I don't want to get ink on my album. Sorry, so we go top, uh, oh, sideways again, then top again, top and bottom again. And then we've got an envelope because basically I can get one, two, three of these top and bottom opening folds out of one piece of 12 by 12 and the side opening ones out of one piece of 12 by 12. So that leaves, so that's obviously five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five sections, and then it leaves this one, which after doing that little mini envelope in the last album, I thought, oh, I love the idea of a little envelope. It's so much fun. And also making it out of vellum is really nice as well. So there is some patterned vellum still, I believe, still in the Stampin' Up! shop. So if you like it, go grab it. Um, but there we go. There's a little envelope opening with a little, little mini thing to put more pictures so that goes I just love the feel of the vellum as well I'm going to have to find another source of vellum in the UK alright so that's one side and I hesitate to say oh one's the front and one's the back 
because I just don't think with these sort of things it works like that. All right, sorry. So this is the other side. So here we have obviously the, the panel, the, the bookends as it were. So then we have opening, and that one opens like that, and then this one opens like that. And I made really good use of that gorgeous paper, this paper that's retiring, um, because there are panels in that paper. And so this is actually one whole panel. You see it's grey under there. When you, If you've got this paper, you'll see. It kind of just worked out that way. And this is already, this is not two pieces. This is actually one piece. And then um, that. And then a little... I like doing that kind of half and that one. Um, and then this is, oh, that's the back. So then the other thing I was thinking is that actually when it comes to displaying this, once you've ended up putting your photographs and stuff in it, it's actually really fun to display it on a mantle. And I know you're looking at it top down, but I just want to show you something. That what's really fun is that you can then open these out. And I will take my camera and try and show you what I mean by by this is that you can open these sections all out and actually have it displayed in a very 3D way. Um, it, it almost looks like little houses actually, but you can you can like open all these panels and rest rest them on bits. So I have to excuse my messy desk. Let me switch that light off there. You won't want that glaring in your faces. But I was just thinking how fun it is actually to display this with all the... You see how I've got all the panels open and then got panels resting on a, the tops of other panels. But actually, it, it this is like really dynamic and makes the art more about... Not just about making a book, but actually making a structure. Um, I know I'm going really artsy fartsy now talking about stuff like this, but actually this is what kind of gives it a, a little bit more of a life of its own that it can be played with and you can play with the how you display it. So, you know, and the idea is that, yeah, you do put photographs in there. So it's like a, a dynamic photo album, really. And I just like the idea of like leaving these sitting sitting on top of things and that actually this, these are meant to be displayed they're not meant to really just be put away and left in boxes okay so you are you know you can play with how you play with the display right so you can have these things open and yeah anyway do you understand what i'm saying <laughs> Did I use grey board? Um, I use grey board for the end pieces. Yeah. Grey board, chipboard, same thing. Not not very thick. Um, yeah. Uh, what DSP is it? It's the... Um, let me just go and have a look what it's called. Oh, actually, no, I'll just look it up in the catalogue. So it's what I had left over. I'm, I, I cut my dinky album that I'm teaching from on Friday from that paper. It's the uh, Fresh as a Daisy DSP, that one. Class, please. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right, what was the other thing I was going to show you? All oh, right, so um, I have spaces for the 12 by 12. The, the class that's called 12 by 12 um, is... Oh, where do I put it? Okay, Ruth, where have you put it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I organised. <laughs> yeah, the problem is when I organise. Right, you know what? I'm just going to take a breath because I'm getting a bit antsy. I'm going to take a breath and put this back properly because I'm frightened I might damage it if I don't do that. So let me just put this back properly. Right, that back in there. You go to bed in there. You go in there. Okay, right, I'll put you away properly. Right, there we go. Yeah, I um, I built this little cabinet type thing to house my old paper pumpkin boxes. And so I've actually organised some of my classes into these boxes. So here we go. Oh, I'll show you that in a sec, Shaz. All right, so the 12 by 12 class that um, I think Glenn is... Oh, no, it's not... The... Is it the mini folio album class? Let me just double check what it's called. So I wouldn't want you to book on the wrong thing. Okay, so it's this one here. Oops. So you have a tuck spot there. And then tuck there. And this one is fun because you've got a little one that goes in there and then one that goes in there. It's kind of like a little magical thing. So if you're careful with what papers you choose, you can make it look like a bit a bit like an optical illusion really. So this is the same one but done in black. So it's from one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm going to leave that out. Um, and then the other thing that we're going to make is this one here. And this is from one piece of 12 by 12 paper. And you can make these fun pockets in the middle. So when you book onto this class I give you all the measurements and directions to cut how to cut this all up. That closes up like that. And so some of you saw the video I did making this one. So this was with stamped one sheet wonders. So if you want to use your stamp one sheet wonders, you can do. All right, so let me just double check. Yeah, the 12 by 12 folio album class, thank you. So I've got one space left for the Dinky album. Do you guys want to see that one again? These are all my pieces ready cut up to demonstrate. So the Dinky album is really dinky. Oh, it's in here. It's really tiny, really, but it's super cute. Okay. Right, Shaz had a question about the construction for this one. Sorry, I haven't been reading comments. Um, let me just look back on comments. Um, yes, I updated it, Kim. Yeah, I had the wrong video linked. Um, oh, see, Jean, see, Janine. Right, what was Charles's question? Which class is what? The. Okay. So, this class, this one here is the mini folio album class that Vicky just shared that's on April the 19th 
And then the Dinky Mini Album Class, the small one, is this Friday, the 12th. And then the Memories and More Album Class is on the 3rd of May. Okay. All right, let's go back to... How did you get the structure in the middle of the pages? In the middle of the pages. Oh yeah, so that was cut from one piece of 12 by 12 as well. So basically, um, you've got... Um, this is... So this is so this is one half of a twelve by twelve up to that point there, and then there's scores, basically a quarter of an inch like that, to allow for some of the extra paper that went in in between, and so that's made from one twelve by twelve as well. So, like I've been rest really wrestling with the idea of being an artist, but using products that are already kind of um, very highly produced and also trying to create workshops that make the most of the sizes that the papers come in. So I think this is a happy medium between creating something that is clearly structured but then with the leftovers so if I was to teach a class on this I wouldn't necessarily kind of show you how to decorate it it would be up to you how you do all the extra detailing I would I would give you all the measurements for the fold out the main fold out bits and like this construction of these sort of things but in terms of all this bit and you know what you decorate that is kind of up to you and what you have left over and it is actually quite fun just to use the leftovers and see you know how far you can go with it and I think what I really enjoy about the process as well is just choosing my own collection of papers that Stampin' Up! have not they, Stampin' Up! have designed them and they have obviously put papers put images together that match but this is from two collections so this is from um the one that I just mentioned. I can't remember what I said there. Uh, and the one that's in the mini catalogue. Every time I go to describe that paper, I have the wrong word in my head, so I have to look it up. Because I know I'll get it wrong. So there's no reason why you couldn't make an album from one collection of paper. You could easily do that but I quite like making it a little bit more unusual. So poetic expressions are used and that one fresh as a daisy. Oh, excuse me. So I ended up trying to use all the purple, so the kind of the mauvey colour, these lovely mauvey colours and the, the blue. I tried to then pull in the blue and the mauvey colours also from Poetic Expressions. So I, I tried to limit the green. I mean, there's a little bit of green there, but I think that is pretty much all the green there is and focus, as I said, on the mauves. Oh, and then there's obviously a little bit of this coppery colour coming through as well. Uh, but that's on that's on some of those daisy pictures anyway but um I tried to limit the palette oh and then yeah there's a splash of green there which couldn't be helped just I had to go with it so yeah it's it's it was an interesting process to to do um and yeah it, it's an interesting wrestle basically How did you get the stiff structure in the middle of the lap book? The stiff structure? 
Oh, oh, have I answered that? I think I answered that. Yeah, it's just it's just one sheet of DSP cut in half, basically. Um. So, yeah, the envelope one that I made the other day is kind of a very similar structure. Only it's made with envelopes. And in a way, having it made from envelopes does give it a little bit more sturdiness. I guess. Because you've got two, two layers there. And it also allows for an extra tuck spot, which that doesn't. But it, it, it's just, this was just a whole different ball game, that one, um, because I wanted these flaps to open up, which I could, again, I could have done that on this. I just didn't think of it at the time. That one has no magnets. Um, it was just too an extra thing to have to think about, and I wanted to just get on and enjoy the process of making that one. Um, so I didn't do magnets. But um, I, th I think also on reflection, I really do love using my own work as well. Um, so this one very much felt like a, a test kind of actually it's not a test piece. That was the second one. <laughs> I'll show you the first one. Um, Oh, where'd I put it? Yeah, so this is my tester. This is my test one, which I didn't even put a board on the end. I didn't put a cover on the ends of this one at all. Right, let me just move stuff over. And I used ugly DSP. <laughs> not ugly DSP, you know what I mean? DSP that I was just like, okay, I'm not so interested in this one anymore. I've looked at it too many times. So here you can see the structure of it a bit better. Okay, so that's basically, and there's a, there's a drawing there. Um, so it's a piece of 12 by 12 cut, pretty much cut into half with, with these extra gussets um, folded, uh, scored in. And so this was the general kind of construction. You can see, see it a bit clearer with the colorful. So up, down, left, right, up, down, and then left, right, which I stuck on wrong. <laughs> Can you see the mistake on it? Uh, so that's why I didn't pursue this one because I kind of made a mistake. Uh, and then up and down again. And then the space is there for the envelope. So here we go. What is the blue and white background? Okay, hold on. What date is which class? The 12th? Oh, for this one, I haven't set a date for it. I haven't even... Um, I, I need to... Oh, I haven't done a club. Oh, that... This is kind of based on the Memories and More album. So if you do the Memories and More album class, it will, it will give you pretty much the structure, the structure for making this. Uh, this one is brand new. <coughs> um... And I haven't even started writing up the measurements for this one. Yeah, no, I have. I shaz. Oh, yeah, as I said, I only made it last night. Um, so, yeah, I have. Yeah, I need to write it up. But I have a class tomorrow, so it won't be any time too soon. Um, but yeah, that will be. Oh, excuse me. I think that will be. Where are we? April, May. Yeah, it might be even going into June, that one. But um, I don't know how bored everyone's getting of my album classes. <laughs> I just I just couldn't help myself. I just have to make it. <laughs> it was on my brain. Right. Thank you so much for joining me, every, everyone. If you do have any questions, please do let me know. Email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com. And um, yeah, make some fun cards tonight. And I'll I'll look at making the 
measurements for this a bit more understandable and comprehensive. Um, I kind of should have just followed the instructions that I saw on Pinterest really, but it was fun to do ones that were angled slightly more interestingly. So, there we go. Oh, sorry, stamp sets I used were Potion Front, Hills of Tuscany and of Art and Texture. And the colours were a bit of a mishmash of colours, really. Lots of yellows, oranges, the new peach pies in there, and petal pink, and coastal cabana, boho blue, lost lagoon, shaded spruce, all sorts of fun stuff. There we go. Oh, yeah, my maze booked. Mm. It is and it is. Oh. It is and it isn't. Um, I also need to get in the diary something for my birthday as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you, you were right, Kim. Thank you, my diary holder, Kim. Yeah, no, my May is booked because... Um, because of Monica and my parents' visit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there won't be anything else in May. You're right. <laughs> um, oh, who's just booked on the Creating Book Backgrounds class? So the Creating Backgrounds class is full now. Well, it's got 10 people. I might be able to squeeze a couple more if, if you ask nicely. <laughs> Let me know. All right, I'm out of here. I'm starting not to make any sense. <laughs> Thanks, Shaz. Can you tell I need it? <laughs> yeah, I'll do Potter's House again, Kim, if I do. Yeah, but I think I'll have to do it on the Friday because oh, my mother-in-law um, wants to take take some people out for dinner and was going to invite invite me and Tom. And she was chatting to me about it on Sunday and she was like, oh, I'm thinking the 27th. And I went, all oh, right, what, this month? And she went, yeah. And I went, all oh, right. I said, because that's my birthday. She went, oh, yeah, it's your birthday. Uh, and July, when is the wedding? Oh, the wedding's in the middle of July. The witch class? Oh, the photo, the, this, yeah, we'll have to wait till June, I think, for this one. For this class. All right. Thank you so much, everybody.